Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation. In this week's scenario, I cannot pee. Your objective will be to insert a urinary catheter into our patient, Joe Foley, who is 48 years old and has lower back pain and cannot urinate. Your simulation goal involves using a sterile technique and in inserting a urinary catheter. Along with the essential skills, your instructors will be looking for washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient, including checking the patient's name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that of the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional, Rebecca, and her student, Holly, as we learn how to insert a Foley catheter. In this scenario, we're gonna demonstrate how to insert a Foley catheter on a male with urinary retention. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about the patient? Yes, our patient today is Joe Foley. He's 48 years old. He slipped and fell, so he took 12 Tylenol 4s. And his complaint is that he cannot urinate. Okay. Now, do you know what Tylenol 4 is? I don't. Okay. Tylenol 4 has codeine in it, which is an opioid. So he probably can't urinate because he has an opioid overdose, which causes urinary retention. Okay. See if you can match the identifiers. And I'm going to confirm the information on his bracelet with my medical records. And the name and date of birth do match. Now let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to the patient and explain to him what we're about to do. Hi, Mr. Foley. My name is Holly and I'm a student and this is my instructor, Rebecca, and we're here to take care of you today. How are you feeling? I cannot pee. All right, we're gonna make you more comfortable. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a Foley catheterization of a patient. Here's our Foley catheter, and this is a sterile procedure. Go ahead and pull the gown up and ask the patient to kind of spread his legs. Mm -hmm. We have a drape under his butt. And the sterile gloves are right on top. Go ahead and put those on. And we're going to drape this over the patient. Using the sterile technique, Take the syringe with 10 milliliters of sterile water and gently inflate the balloon. Be careful not to overinflate it. Fill up the balloon that okay. holds the catheter in place. So we'll go ahead and test the balloon for patency. See it blown up? Mm -hmm. Usually about 10 cc of sterile fluid. The next step involves applying lubricant to the catheter tip. So we're going to take this and we're going to lubricate it, squeeze it out into the tray, now we pull this off and lubricate the tip of the catheter about four to five, six inches down. Leave the lubricated catheter on the sterile field. And this is, these are your iodine swab sticks, okay? We're going to be using these to clean the urinary meatus. Okay. Now we take our iodine swabs and cleanse the urinary meatus, and we take our non-dominant hand and hold the penis, and if, um, if he's circumcised, then you don't have to pull back the foreskin, but if he is, then you got to pull back. And then you're going to swab from the inside out. Okay and you're going to use all of them. And notice now my left hand is not sterile anymore, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're going to explain to the patient that you might feel a burning sensation, okay. and you might feel the need to urinate after we insert the catheter. You kind of hold it up. Gently insert the catheter until one to two inches beyond where the urine is noted to flow. And once you see urine flowing, go about one to two inches more. You see the urine? Yes. Now we go ahead and inflate the balloon so the tube stays in. Take the urinary drainage bag and place it below the patient so the urine will flow. And you want to look at the color of the urine. And it's nice yellow, so he definitely had some urinary retention. All right, and now I'm going to show you how to remove the catheter. Take a syringe, about 10 cc syringe, and attach it right here where I put the water in or the fluid and you can see it's coming out. This is just to deflate the balloon so we can take it out. You ask the patient to take a deep breath and when he's exhaling, pull slowly. 
go ahead and make those notations on your student worksheet. Document okay. the color of the urine and the output, 300 cc's. Okay. And that the urine was clear and yellow. Okay. Do you have any questions? Yes, what's the difference when you're catheterizing a female? Okay, when you're catheterizing a female, you probably want to have her spread her legs farther. Um, and when you're wiping with the iodine, you're going to do one clean swipe down each time. Okay. And that's how we do a urinary catheterization on a Laird doll simulator. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett with McGraw-Hills Medical Simulation Work Text.